What's up everybody? Today I want to bring you through my Harris Teeter slash Kroger grocery haul. Now it's the same exact grocery store, it just depends on what neck of the woods that you're in. Now I wanted to take you through some items that keep me lean, but also keep me happy. Okay, stuff that I enjoy to eat, but also foods that keep me in my calorie range. That is the goal, to being completely happy with your diet. So no particular order, let's get started. So we're gonna start with some toast here. This is the delightful 45 calorie bread. That's a good option. I have been getting the honey wheat 40 calorie per slice bread here. It's a keto bread. Uh, it's very low calorie. Next, we got the Thomas 100 calorie English muffins here. I use these to make my breakfast sandwiches. These are a good low calorie option. Next, we got the 45 calorie La Banderita wraps. Very low calorie option for you. I use these for my tacos. These are definitely the way to go. Next, we got some protein pancake mix. There are a bunch of different options that you could choose from. I like the Kodiak cakes, in my personal opinion. The dark chocolate one is my favorite one, but anyone will do. It's just getting some protein into your breakfast with a really good tasting breakfast, to be honest. And for that breakfast, you're gonna need some syrup. Uh, the Walden Farms zero calorie pancake syrup is a very good option. It's just a little bit on the pricey side. If you want another low calorie option, you can go for the Harris Teeter brand sugar-free syrup. It's 15 calories per two tablespoons. That is your second go-to option. Now for those pancakes, you're also gonna wanna get some butter. This is the zero calorie butter spray. I like to spray these on my pancakes or onto my toast in the morning. Next, we got some cereal. This is the Kashi Go cereal. This is my kind of go-to cereal for protein cereal. Uh, a lot of these have 10 grams of protein per serving. Uh, definitely a good option for you. Uh, it's just kind of hard to have one bowl, so be careful. It's kind of even hard to have two bowls sometimes. These have the same macros as a protein bar, so it's pretty expensive cereal, but the macros are pretty insane. We got some powdered peanut butter. It doesn't really matter which brand you go for. We have PB2 here and then Richard's brand. Uh, this is a little bit better macros with 50 calories and 6 grams of protein versus 60 calories and 6 grams of protein. So I am going with Richard's brand. Next, we got Popcorners chips. These are a good chip option that uh, they don't have too many calories. They're not as bad as some of the chips that are out there. They kind of range from 120 calories to 140 calories, depending on uh, which one you get. Next, we have some nuts. I mean, they're a little bit calorie dense, as you might know. They're not the best for losing weight, but they are a healthy snack if you can control the calories. I like the Blue Diamond ones. The Habanero Barbecue is definitely my favorite one. Blue Diamond has some great flavors. Next, we got some protein bars. Harris Teeter definitely has a good selection of protein bars. The Alani protein bars, the Fit Snacks, those are a good option. They have some decent macros and they taste delicious. We also got the One Bars, the uh, Cinnamon Roll is definitely my favorite one, but they definitely have different flavors, good macros, like usual. Quest, you know Quest Bars, they have good macros as well. The taste isn't on par with some of the other ones, but uh, they still taste pretty decent, so you can't beat the macros on these bad boys. Next for their protein shake options, sometimes I like to get the Fairlife 26 gram protein uh, chocolate shakes here only 170 calories so you can't really can't really beat those macros okay they're pretty damn good they also have an elite version which is 42 grams of protein for 230 calories i actually haven't got this one it just seemed like a bit you know a bit overboard for the protein but you never know next we got some rice cake options i like the chocolate ones personally or the caramel ones but they don't have the caramel ones here the other ones are pretty low calorie and they are a good snack Next, we got the famous Fiber One Bars, sweet little treat for not that many calories, only 70 calories per bar. Now, Harris, Teeter, and Walmart all have these low calorie bars. You just have to look a little bit harder. I actually just did a video on this. You can check that out. I will link it up above. But uh, basically, it just kind of acts as an after dinner treat. So uh, they're not high protein. They're just lower calorie. Just have this as a little uh, sweet treat after your meal. Next, we got some beef jerky. There's a lot of beef jerky options here uh, that are gonna be high in protein. It doesn't really matter which one you get, but mine is Crave Sweet Chipotle. That is my go-to. That is my absolute favorite one. Tender and delicious. Definitely a good flavor. We got some sugar-free Jello here. Only five calories per serving. These are a nice little treat. Just something to eat, you know? It's not gonna fill you up, but just low calorie. We're gonna move on to the meats. These are the deli meats. Uh, these are prepackaged, either the turkey breast, chicken breast, or the ham options. 
I like to go for the Black Forest ham myself. Uh, it is the lowest calorie ham you can get, 60 calories per serving, nine grams of protein. Can't really beat it. This is also the diced ham. You can use these for your omelets in the morning. Just throw them in there. Very low calorie, high in protein. It adds a good amount of protein to your dish. So good option there. Next we got 96.4 lean ground beef. This is the leanest form of beef that you can get, I believe. So definitely get the leanest options. Chicken breast, you know, any type of chicken breast, it doesn't really matter which brand, it doesn't matter if it's organic. Uh, it's just high in protein, low in calorie, like you should be eating. Next, we got some turkey sausages here. If you're going to get a sausage, make sure it is turkey. Make sure it's a turkey sausage, okay? We got the crumbles here, the patties, and then the sausage links. All turkey options, definitely the go-to. Speaking of turkey, we got the turkey pepperonis here. Less fat, less calories, that's what you're looking for. They taste very close to the uh, non-turkey version. Definitely get this one. Next, we got tuna, okay? Tuna is a very low calorie, high protein snack or meal, depending on what you use it for. These are the Starkist packets. They are flavored, they are delicious. Next, we got some egg whites here. They have a lot less calories than regular eggs and then the same amount of protein. So you can either use this by itself or mix this in with eggs if you'd like. So Harris Teeter has a bunch of cheese options, but I could not find fat-free cheese, ironically enough. So the lowest option I could find was some 2% low moisture part skim uh, cheese here, shredded cheese, 70 calories per 28 gram serving, eight grams of protein. That is the best that I could find. Next, we got some cashew milk or some almond milk, unsweetened of course, 25 calories or 30 calories per serving. That is the way to go. I also found this milk from Silk, 20 grams of protein per serving, 160 calorie serving. It's kind of like a protein shake. So I haven't tried it myself. Maybe something to consider, you know, some high protein milk. Next, we got some Greek yogurt here. Any low fat or non-fat Greek yogurt will do. They have tons of different options. The Oikos brand is a good one. Uh, usually 20 grams of protein for 140 calories. Just a nice little sweet treat. You can mix some protein powder in there as well if you'd like. Next, we got some frozen waffles and some frozen pancakes from Kodiak Cakes. These are a nice little option for you if you are lazy like me and you don't want to cook your pancakes or your waffles, just throw them in the microwave or the toaster and you have a nice little treat with some protein in it. So these taste pretty good. Next, we got some low calorie ice cream options. The Enlightened bars are pretty good. We got the Yasso bars, of course, low calorie, high in protein. They just came out with their ice cream sandwich versions. Uh, the vanilla bean ice cream sandwiches taste pretty much just like an ice cream sandwich. Plus, I got some protein in there and they're low calorie. We got the Enlightened Pints here, the light versions. They taste pretty damn good. They're a little bit higher in calorie than the other ones, just like the Halo Top ones. Halo Top ones are lower in calorie, but their consistency isn't the best in my opinion. NYX is the best low calorie version ice cream that I could find. The consistency and the taste is pretty damn good and the calories are really low. So definitely give them a shot. They're just all gonna be pretty expensive because you know, they're a healthy ice cream. So what do you expect? Now I don't eat frozen food that often, but if you're gonna go with a frozen food option, you wanna go with the healthy choice power bowls or the protein bowls, something that's lower in calorie, higher in protein. And again, with these frozen foods, they're not gonna fill you up. You kinda wanna pair this with something else. You know, if you're lazy and you just wanna make a sandwich and then maybe eat one of these frozen meals and that's what you can do. I'm gonna go with the healthy choice zero carne asada. It is 200 calories, 16 grams of protein. Good choice, decent taste. What else more could you ask for, eh? Next, we're gonna move on to the sauces. Hopefully you already know this guy, G Hughes. He has a lot of low calorie sauces that you could choose from, from barbecue sauce to honey mustard to sweet chili. Usually ranging from five calories to 20 calories per two tablespoons. So really good macros. Calories from sauces definitely add up. So you wanna go for the lower calorie ones. This is Sticky Fingers. They have their sugar-free barbecue sauce that they just came out with, I believe, to give G Hughes some competition, really. So check them out as well. Also, any hot sauce will do. That is zero calories or really low calorie. Just whatever taste you prefer. Any sugar-free ketchup will do. They're gonna have lower calories than regular ketchup. However, the regular Heinz ketchup only has 20 calories per serving, so it's not that much of a difference and the taste is gonna be better there. So whichever one you prefer. If you're gonna go for like a mayo, I would go for the light Miracle Whip. It's only 20 calories per tablespoon versus regular mayo, which is 100 calories per tablespoon. So definitely a huge difference. Go for the light Miracle Whip. 
If you're gonna be making pita pizzas, go for the Prego lower calorie sauce, only 45 calories per serving. Definitely a must if you're making your own pizzas. Use this sauce instead. Next, we got some fruits. Did I even have to say this? You know, whichever fruits you like. I like apples, I like bananas. So that's the kind of fruits that I get. I don't eat them every day, but you know, it's something nice to get. Next, we also have the shredded iceberg lettuce. Uh, the spinach, you know, use these for your tacos, your wraps, even some salads with the spinach and stuff. Fit these in, they're voluminous, they're low calorie. And do I even have to mention some frozen vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, that kind of stuff. Voluminous, low calorie, definitely a must. Next we got some low calorie beverages here. Any, you know, carbonated uh, water or carbonated beverage that's zero calories is going to uh, give you a taste and not fill you up with any calories pretty much. So you don't wanna drink your calories, okay? Do not drink your calories. It's a big mistake people make. I also like to go for the energy drinks uh, sometimes in the morning, uh, kind of curbs my appetite and uh, I'm not really that hungry in the morning to be honest. So I'll, a lot of the times I like to drink one of these low calorie monsters, only 10 calories per can. Uh, good taste, kind of curbs my appetite. Now if you like to occasionally drink, maybe like once or twice per day like myself, then uh, you can go for these 100 calorie seltzers or 5% alcohol, 100 calories or less per uh, can here. But if you don't like the seltzers like me, you can go for some beer. I put this in my last grocery haul, the Michelob Ultra Pure Gold, 85 calories per beer. It is pretty damn good. So that is gonna do it for the grocery haul. Hopefully you learned something new. Hopefully you found something new that you didn't know before. If I missed something, please leave a comment down below on what I missed. Some low calorie, high protein item that tastes delicious. I want to know about it. I love to learn about this stuff every day. I wanna make my life better. If you all enjoyed, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. I have videos out like this every week. I'm gonna end it there. Take care, cause I care.